now going to talk about how we find the common difference, and this becomes one of the most important tools you can get in dealing with arithmetic sequences, is figuring out how to find the common difference. So we're going to start with the sequence 3, minus 2, minus 7, minus 12, dot, dot, dot. So we're saying this is an infinite sequence, and it just keeps going. So what we want to know is there's something 3 plus d equals minus 2. So notice what I did. I took the first one and the second one. Solve for d is minus 2 minus 3, which is minus 5. So let's see if we can take minus 2 plus d and if that equals minus 7. So we're going to plug this minus 5 in. Is minus 2 minus 5 equal to minus 7? It sure is. Minus 7 equals minus 7. So we've confirmed this, and if we do with minus 7 again, minus 7 minus another 5 is minus 12, so sure enough it works, and our d is minus 5. So if we're looking at an arithmetic sequence, then we can find d is equal to a2 minus a1, and if it also equals a3 minus a2, then we know that we found it, and we don't need to go any farther because we're not going to play those types of games.